What's up everyone, it's Phoenix here coming at you with an incredibly important video today about a do-it-yourself hardware wallet solution for Tau tokens. Now, the issue, the main issue with the existing software solution, this is the wallet extension that you download uh, via the website. It's beautiful aesthetically, it's very easy to use. I have no complaints in that department, but it is, at the end of the day, a hot wallet. The keys are stored online it is possible for a hacker to go in and remove your funds even if they are staked, okay? So yes, self-custodial, but not maximum security. Let me emphasize that because people get hacked every single day. I have no idea what websites you're signing on to. And so I wanna share the solution with you because it is very valuable. It isn't that difficult to set up. All you need is an old phone that you can basically reset to factory settings. And that's the very first step. You can do this on an old iPhone or an Android and you just need access to the app store. As soon as you've reset the phone, you download Polkadot Vault. And then after you've downloaded the vault, this is where the fun begins, okay? So here is what it looks like in the app store. You download this and then you need to put it into air gap mode and they give you this prompt here. You can see enable airplane mode, turn off Wi-Fi, turn off your Bluetooth, and then you have to confirm hit done, and then the next step comes up. So keep in mind, this phone is only used, it only has this single app on the phone, okay? And it never leaves airplane mode once you have downloaded the application, okay? All of the generation of keys, all the signing of transactions, it's all done via QR codes, okay? That's how the information is transferred. And so it remains air-gapped for the life of the wallet. So this is what keeps it a hardware wallet. And this is why you wouldn't do this on the phone, your main phone, right? So you're going to come to this step and set up networks. We're actually going to set this up later because we need to do some other stuff first. So what we're going to do is we're going to add new key set. It's going to give a new key set. And then what you're going to do is, so I have a key set here. And then I'm going to pull up this QR code scanner, okay? And I'm going to then go to this website, which I will link to. The first step here is to add the Bitenser network. And all you need to do is tap the QR code at the bottom of the screen on your Polkadot Vault app, and then you'll go ahead and scan this. And it's gonna pull up the Bitenser network. And then, you're going to, once again, for a second time, you're going to hit the QR code and scan this metadata and it will update that. It takes about 10 seconds of holding this for it to update. And then once you do that, you can then go back in your app and you can create a derived key. So we hit the add button on the top right of the Polkadot Vault app and then create derived key from node sub tensor. Okay, so we have the proper network here. We're creating a, a key set from this. Okay, so once you've done that, you have uh, the option to create a, a derivation path name. This is for added security. It's not absolutely essential, uh, but generally speaking, it is. it can be helpful. And if you wanna learn more about that, you can read about it in this question mark here. I'm not gonna go too deep into that, okay? So you've added it. And now what we need is a way to connect our Polkadot Vault to uh, the internet, okay? It's, for, it's like as if we were connecting a ledger to MetaMask in order to interface with uh, Web3. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to polkadot.js.org and you want to go to extension and you're going to download the extension here. I've already done this and you can see it's up here. Okay, so now I'm gonna share with you uh, some screenshots. So you can see that when you click this, it's gonna pull up this here. And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna allow QR camera access because this is how we're going to be able to, uh, to link our Polkadot Vault to the Polkadot.js application. Okay, so you're gonna allow QR camera access and in some cases, if you have Brave, for instance, you might need to manage website access. If it asks to use the camera, you want to be able to use the camera uh, because the next step is going to be after we've allowed QR camera access, 
then what we need to do is go to, and I'm in settings here, but then we need to go to the plus sign. And the plus sign is to add, to attach external QR signer account. You're gonna click this, it's gonna pull up a QR code. And then what you do from that old phone is you will, again, hit the QR code scan while you're in the Bitenser network, and it's going to, you're going to scan this. And then that's going to enable you to create a link. So then this will appear on the Polkadot.js extension. Okay, so it's basically, it's transferring the information, okay, in an air-gapped way. And so now we have our Polkadot.js extension, and now you can copy the address that you have here, and you can deposit your Tau from the exchange or wherever you purchased it into this account, okay? And so this account, again, is secure because in order for any transaction to be signed, it needs to be done via QR codes. Some might find this confusing. You wanna think about the Polkadot Vault as like your set of keys that's giving you access to your Tau. You're not going to actually be able to see the Tau. The key doesn't store the Tau. It just gives, it gives access to it, right? And so also with Polkadot.js, you're not going to be able to see the balance. But if you were really wanting to, to try this, for instance, the first time I set this up, I downloaded Nova Wallet and scanned my QR code to link my Polkadot vault. And this will, it will show up the balance, the Tau balance will show up in here. You'll be able to see it, okay? But then when it comes to staking, what you wanna do, the next step is you wanna go to delegate.taustats.io, connect wallet, and you're gonna actually connect this Polkadot.js wallet. And through there, you will be able to, via a series of transactions, be able to very quickly and effectively stake the Tau. Again, we're just simply scanning QR codes at this point, and it is safe and secure. So that's the quick and dirty. Um, it's not all that complicated. You just have to make sure that you do a few important steps in the very beginning. Namely, make sure that the Polkadot Vault is on a phone that is actually air-gapped, and it stays that way after you downloaded the app. And make sure that you've downloaded the Polkadot.js extension. Always make sure that you're getting these websites from the proper sources, okay? Don't just do a Google search all the time because sometimes we get scammers that run ads. And I cannot emphasize this enough. This is so important. You have to be paying very close attention. Even those of us that have been in this for many years, there can be all kinds of ways, all kinds of attack vectors that we want to eliminate. And so hopefully this is helpful to some or many of you. I This is my personal hardware solution at present until either Keystone or Ledger or some of the others come up with something better. And even then at this point, I basically have uh, a foolproof hardware wallet. So I hope that you found some value in this. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments and uh, have a beautiful rest of your day.